Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. I hope you're all doing well, insha'Allah. There's a very beautiful hadith from, from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in which he says, أَن تُخَالِطَ النَّاسُ وَأَن تَصْبِرَ عَلَىٰ أَذَاهُمْ خَيْرًا لَكَ مِنْ أَن لَا تُخَالِطَ النَّاسُ وَلَا تُصْبِرَ عَلَىٰ أَذَاهُمْ This hadith is so beautiful. The Prophet alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, for you to become with people, to be around people, to be in the presence of people that you don't like, that hurt you, that harm you, that you can't tolerate, that is better for you than for you not to be around people and for you not to be patient with them. Meaning, it's better for you to be around people that you cannot tolerate and learn from than for you to completely move away from people under the, under the reason of not being able to tolerate them. You know, this hadith is so beautiful and the reason being is the following. As Muslims, we have this feeling or we have this ideology in our mind whereby if we don't experience, if we don't experience the things that we want, we simply back off from people. We back off from the people around us. We back off from anything that doesn't really fall in line with how we see life. And that is very, very troubling. The reason being is the following. When you back away from people, you don't learn about yourself. When you back away from people, you don't understand where your strengths and weaknesses are. When you back away from people, you don't understand how to protect yourself. You won't understand how people operate. You won't understand how people think and how people actually move through life. And that's the beauty of the prophetic lesson, alayhi salatu wasalam, is that he's teaching you, listen, there's going to be moments where you can't tolerate your family, you can't tolerate your siblings, you can't tolerate your husband, you can't tolerate your wife, but it doesn't mean that you back away from them. You sit with them, you learn more about what you can do to learn about yourself and how you are able, as a result, to protect yourself in the face of those difficulties. Now, what does the Prophet say next? In this very same hadith, he says, when you back yourself away from people, you remain on your own. You have no understanding of how people operate. You have no understanding of how humanity works. You have no understanding of what you can do to protect yourself. And you are bound at the end of the day to be around people whether you like it or not. So if you really look at the prophetic hadith right here, alayhi salatu wasalam, his words are golden. His words are miraculous. It's basically telling you, you got to be strong. You got to be powerful. You, you, you have to confront people. You have to confront your challenges. You have to confront those that harm you, those that hurt you. But it doesn't mean that you confront them with harm. You confront them by learning more about them and understanding how you can protect them by understanding that when you back away, the goodness within you will not be a means of guidance to them. You're preventing the goodness in yourself from being the reason why that person will become guided to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the Prophet says when you back away from people because of your intolerance to them, the goodness that you have within yourself, it won't be shown to those people. And you could be the very person that that person needs to look at in life and say, you know what? I was an intolerant person to that person that is so good right before me, but because of their goodness, I want to become a person of tolerance to them. I want to become a person that they're able to withstand and a person that they're able to appreciate. So brothers and sisters in Islam, understand this very beautiful hadith from the Prophet. When you back out, you become weaker. You don't learn more about yourself, nor do you become more stronger. When you're with people, you become more acquainted about people. You become more acquainted about how to, yeah, about becoming defensive and about being protective about yourself. And you become a means of guidance to those who have yet to receive it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and allow His mercy to always be upon us. Allahumma ameen ya rabbil alameen.